In 1899, as the world was awaiting the arrival of the 20th century, a group of French artists were asked to imagine what life would be like a hundred years into the future, in the year 2000. They accepted the challenge and they took it seriously. After all, they were told that their work would be displayed at the Paris World Exhibition in 1900. They talked to scientists, businessmen and thinkers of the day to compile a list of innovations that could possibly be in use by the year 2000. The vast majority of the images that I'm about to show you were made in 1899. Some of their predictions are laughable, some are almost right, and some are surprisingly accurate, and some are ahead of our time now. Never mind 2000. These images would go on to be used as cigar box inserts, and then for 70 years they were completely forgotten. Until the 1980s when Isaac Asimov acquired a set of them and published them in a 1986 book entitled Future Days, a 19th century vision of the year 2000. The images that I'm about to show you show just how far humanity has come. Things that are normal and commonplace for us today couldn't even have been imagined in 1899, but they had a really good shot at it and in some instances they almost got it right. Please sit back and enjoy Lan du Mille, literally in the year 2000. how they envisioned sea travel. Underwater and powered by whales. Isambard Kingdom Brunel had already solved iron-hulled ships, powered by steam at this point. This is a poor start for their future predictions. Maybe the previous picture was a pleasure cruise underwater. It looks like everyone has hopped off the whale-powered sub for a game of underwater croquet. This is entitled Torpedo Plane. Four years before the Wright brothers had developed powered, controlled, heavier than air flight, we were already predicting that war would be fought in the air. Sadly, they got this one right. This one is entitled Battle Cars, but they've correctly predicted the armored battle tank. They're along the right lines here, we do have a lot of labour-saving gadgets these days, but having all of your beauty needs met at the flick of a switch is still some way off. Oh dear, it looks like the croquet game has been interrupted by a giant octopus. They seem to think that we'll be spending a lot of our time underwater at the turn of the millennium. At first glance, this looks crazy. The teacher is feeding the machine with books and the knowledge is being fed into their brains electronically. On the same day as I'm writing this script, Elon Musk's Neuralink has just received FDA approval for human trials of his brain interface. Elon predicts that in years to come, we'll have AI and the internet in our brains via a neural lace. This is scarily accurate and still some way off, but it will come. This is entitled, A House Rolling Through the Countryside. Well, we did have RVs in 2000, so it's partially correct. We don't sit on balconies and roof terraces whilst on the move, though. They predicted sound without the need for someone to be there playing instruments. It looks like the conductor is flicking a switch and machines are playing the instruments. We're underwater again. And this time, it's a day out at the races. This gentleman is receiving his voicemails in the morning. They're right about voicemail, but wrong about the delivery method. His manservant seems to be bringing him a gadget, which will be played on his desk-bound audio device. I'm going to give this one partial credit. The late Victorians imagined us spending a lot of time in the air. They envisioned law enforcement with high-speed chases on powered bikes. We don't have the inbuilt riot shield, so again, partial credit. They predicted advancements in how microscopes would change our view of the world. They predicted that we'd all have means of personal flight. These thieves are using their ability to fly for nefarious purposes, robbing nests perched high on rocks. 
They thought that you could go into a clothes shop and have your clothes made on the spot just for you. This one is entitled Intensive Breeding. The eggs are fed in at the top and chicks are delivered via a chute. Again, this is a prediction of aerial military capabilities. He's a solo advance party observing the enemy from the air. This is how they saw the future kitchen. They're right about the mod cons and the labour saving devices, but this one looks more like a lab. If we're all going to be flying, then you're going to need the aviation police. Here we have a routine traffic stop. Fishing for seagulls whilst underwater. Maybe they're predicting climate change and the rising of the seas. I'm giving this a partial credit. Farms are now industrialised with incredibly efficient machinery. This farmer is managing his crops with just a flick of a switch. Maybe in 20 years with the development of AI and robotics, this image will be even more accurate. This guy is printing a house. Incorrect for the year 2000, but spot on for 2023. The architect is pressing a button and the house gets printed. Technology that is available today. They predicted electric trains. No more back-breaking work for this housemaid? No, with just a tug on this brass bar, all of the cleaning is taken care of with this device. Again, they were way off the mark for 2000, but in 2023, we do have robot vacuum cleaners. So partial credit. We're back underwater and we've clearly found a way to make seahorses so big that we can actually ride them. This guy is dictating his letters. His speech has been converted to text and then printed out on a printer in his office. Again, they were wrong for the year 2000, but spot on for 2023. Speech to text technology developed by the likes of Google and Apple has made this scene a reality. They're having a video call. None of these predictions suggest internet communications or that iPads would be a thing. They just knew that this sort of thing would happen someday and they were absolutely right. This modern house is warm and cosy because that's radium in the fireplace. Mercifully, this prediction did not come to pass. They thought that all of your barbering needs could be met with the flick of a switch and with a terrifying gadget wielding a blade. Again, mercifully, this didn't happen. Please allow me just 15 seconds to plug this channel. Very nearly interesting is a brand new channel and I need all the help I can get. Please hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. That's how YouTube knows you like it and they'll show it to more people. And please consider subscribing. That way we might see you again. Electric rollerblades. I'm putting this in the why don't we have them by now category. This guy is listening to his newspaper. They envisioned a time where you didn't need to read the news. No, you could just sit back and have the news read to you. They got the delivery method wrong, but other than that, they were, of course, spot on. They predicted huge advancements in astronomy with huge telescopes of ever increasing size. I'm giving this an A+. Mid-air lawn tennis, sadly, never seemed to take off. This is how air travel was envisioned. The boat, they reckoned, could be made lighter than air. It's incredible to think that just four years after this was painted, we had invented the first aeroplane.
This one dates from 1910. It clearly depicts the Wright Flyer, invented in 1903. They predicted that you'd be able to rescue people at sea from air. We wouldn't do it in aeroplanes, but they were, of course, spot on. They thought getting the post to people in rural communities would be much better from the air. The aviation police again. They're making a mid-air arrest. This prediction must have seemed so obvious in 1899. Clearly, hunting would be easier from the air. They thought everyone would be flying in the year 2000, and that includes the fire service. But is this really so crazy? Why couldn't we now give a fireman a jetpack and a long hose for those really tall buildings? I'm putting this in the category of, it's a good idea, so why don't we do it? They were clearly misinformed about how slowly an aeroplane could travel. This pilot is just swinging past his local cafe for a much needed glass of claret. They knew aeroplanes would be a thing in 2000, and this is how they envisioned an airport. They thought that there would be an aero cab station on virtually every street. And finally, fighting on the land, sea and air. Sadly, they were absolutely correct. I'm sure if you and I were to predict the year 2123, we'd be way off the mark. I really hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please click the like button. That way more people will see it. And please consider subscribing. That way we might see you again. And please have a look at some of our other content on the channel. There's lots of interesting things on there. Well, very nearly interesting. Ah!